Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Quinn, if you guys are new. Um, for today's video, I decided to do another DIY using natural ingredients. This time, I'm using blueberries to get a beautiful lilac purple. You can already tell in the thumbnail, it's gorgeous. I know if you guys really love my DIY using onion skin videos, and if you haven't seen already, I'll post it up right here um, or here. So I'm actually filming this video after I have already succeed. You may or may not know, but using natural ingredients to dye your clothes is actually really hard. Yes, there's some fruits and vegetables that stay in your clothes, but it's actually hard to get the pigment to stick onto your clothes when you actually want them to stay on your clothes. So I actually experimented and failed a lot of times using different ingredients. So that's why I'm actually filming this video after I already got my results. I know you want me to jump right into the video. So um, that being said, I'm so excited to show you guys. And if you guys are interested, then please continue watching. You're going to need a white cotton t-shirt. I have this long sleeve, one that I got in size XL. This is not a new white t-shirt. It's old, it's washed once. I tried dyeing this um, shirt using red cabbage and I failed miserably. So I'm just reusing it. You can kind of see the faded red cabbage blue dye here, but now I'm going to use blueberry instead. So I really hope this works. And you are going to be needing salt, again, rubber bands, and some kind of fabric to strain out the blueberries. I'm boiling 10 cups of water and about a little bit more than half a cup of salt. I'm going to heat it up. And then I'm going to stir and dissolve the salt in the water. So now that the salt is all dissolved in the boiling water, you want to dunk in the white t-shirt so you want to really submerge the shirt inside the salt water and hopefully what the salt is going to do is make the dye bond to the fabric better yeah let it let it cook for at least 30 minutes and while my t-shirt is cooking for 30 minutes I'm going to crush up the blueberries in this bowl I want as much pigment as possible so I'm going to crush all the blueberries and by the way these are not old blueberries they're like brand new so um, just FYI if you want to know that information I think this step may be optional some people don't crush the blueberries but because I've had bad experience not getting the color dye I want I want to make sure I crush it and get as much pigmentation as possible I used the whole basket of blueberries and this is how much it came out to be after 30 minutes remove the t-shirt from the pot wring it out and then using the same water I'm going to dump in the blueberries I'm going to let the blueberries simmer in medium heat for about 45 to 50 minutes Using the crumble method, I'm going to crumble up the sleeves really, really tightly. And tying it off with the rubber bands. Now I'm doing the same to the other side and make sure that you are really crumbling it very tightly together and rubber banding them because you're gonna dunk this whole shirt in the dye water. And then for the shirt, I'm just doing from the corners. Okay, so this is what it looks like, all really tight and secured. Now I'm going to dump the blueberry dye on top of this fabric. Now I'm going to separate out all the blueberry skin and all the residue that we don't want. It's so hot, so I'm going to use a ladle. It's really hot, I should have let it cool. So you can see the color is like purple. 
So I'm guessing the shirt is gonna come out a light purple. And then now you want to literally dip your whole t-shirt into the dye water. And because the rubber band is making resistant, it shouldn't dye through and you should receive patterns. <music> Make sure you flip the shirt over to the other side so then this side can get dyed too. It's now the next day and this is kind of what it looks like. I let it soak into the bowl of dye. It looks kind of like a purple red color. I am going to hand wash this without soap and um, let it air dry and let's see what it looks like. Oh my gosh! washing this with just like cold water no detergent and it looks amazing tell me if this is not the prettiest freaking natural purple color that you've ever seen I like I don't know what to tell you like it's freaking gorgeous it's a pretty freaking purple color ever and the pattern also turned out amazing I love how there's like a patch of like dye here and like yeah, so that was like the, that scrunching crumble method and it looks so amazing. It's wet right now, but I'm going to let it air dry and then I will show you what it looks like on afterwards. And the reason I hand wash this with no detergent right now because I just want the dye to just like really seep into the fabric for as long as it can. So be right back. I'll show you what it looks like when this is dry. So this is what it looks like fully dry. The color is so, so pretty. It's like a violet purple and it's like the perfect purple. So this is what the t-shirt looks like now that it's dry. I got impatient so then I put it in the dryer instead of air drying it. I put it on delicate and um, my delicate only spins for like 20 minutes. So it took me a couple times drying it to get it like dried up um, the color is still here and it's a really pretty purple color and I love how the pattern turned out it's so pretty so um, this is a success and for those of you who want to know if the color will stay after I wash it in the washing machine I will put it in the description box and let you guys know if it faded off or the color will stay after I wash it with like detergent using the washing machine and all that so give me a thumbs up if you think this color purple is gorgeous and comment down below and let me know if you guys are gonna try to DIY this or um, tag me if you do on Instagram and subscribe if you haven't already click the notification bell and you will get notified when I post next thank you for watching I will see you in my next video bye